All right, guys, listen. This is the biggest thing to ever happen to the House of Masks. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the new House of Masks headquarters. Yes, that is right, we've got a new building, and I kept thinking of how I was going to shoot this video and what I was gonna say, and I figured why not just come in here and be as genuine as possible because honestly, I'm in disbelief for more than one reason about this and uh, I'm just over the moon happy. This, this feels like every grail mask I've ever received plus getting my motorcycles plus whatever happy feelings I've ever gone through in life all wrapped up in one and uh, as far as scores go, this is definitely the biggest and best score that I've ever had happen to me in my entire life. So. I'm going to do a quick walk through the building, show you guys everything, and then we are going to discuss it a little further in detail. So, I hope you're ready. Your minds are going to be fucking blown. I still can't fucking get over it. So, let's go. So it's been very apparent that over the last couple years, I definitely have not had the room that I've needed for the House of Masks. Whether that be in a specifically a collection sense for like the size of my collection to have everything displayed, right down to how I'm shooting and editing my videos. I just don't have the space to do everything the way that I want to do it. I don't think that you guys have ever even seen my full collection on display. I've always had more masks than I've had room, and that has finally changed because I got the building. So. As I said, welcome to the new House of Masks headquarters. So first of all, I want to go ahead and apologize if there's an echo in any of these clips. Clearly the space is pretty empty and it's very large, so there is probably going to be an echo for quite some time because it's going to take a lot to fill these spaces. Now aside from how sick the building itself is, obviously there's tons of room, there's a super sick loft bedroom, it's got a fully finished bathroom, and everything in between. Aside from that, this building is extremely special to me in a sentimental sense, and let me explain to you what I mean. I basically grew up in this building one way or another throughout my entire life. This used to be a bike shop, and it was the first bike shop that I got any of my professional style BMX bikes. I remember getting a 16-inch Haro when I was a kid from this exact place. It later became another bike shop where I got my first 24-inch BMX bicycle, and I was pretty heavy in to BMXing. I still am, to be honest, so that's obviously pretty special. Years and years later, it ended up becoming one of my really good friends and always an influence of mine, Mr. Matt Day's photo studio, so I was in here for that constantly, and even just recently, it was a buddy of mine's screen printing shop, so I've just had a lot of history in this building. I've always loved this fucking place, so when I saw that it became available, they didn't even have anything in the windows, like it was not ready to be put up for rent yet, but I thought I am going to get this fucking building. There is no way that I'm letting this one slipped by me. I finally felt that I was in a good enough place that I could take the risk and pull the trigger on something like this, and I think that this is going to be what propels the House of Masks just into a completely new realm. So I love the history of the building, I love the 
layout and I think that this is just the best thing that's ever happened to the House of Masks and I definitely could not have done it without you guys. You know that I'm not one for begging for subscribers or begging you to go buy my merch or begging for super chats or anything like that, but I appreciate every single person that's done any of that. If you subscribe, if you watch my videos daily, if you buy merch, if you've signed up for Patreon, if you super chat me during the live streams, I fucking appreciate the shit out of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if there's ever a time to do that stuff, if you've been on the fence about signing up for Patreon, if you've wanted some merch but you haven't gotten around to doing it yet, I would highly, highly recommend going and doing that because all of that is helping make this a reality. My content is going to shoot through the roof with this place. I'm gonna be able to shoot so many different things. I'm finally going to be able to have the entire collection set out the way that I want it, displayed nicely, not around a bunch of shit in a place that I'm not happy with cramped it's all going to be out in the open it's going to be fucking beautiful and honestly i just i can't fucking wait i can't believe it i'm super super happy and uh it's just something else so i pulled the trigger i got the keys the building's mine um i think that it was meant to be uh all the stars aligned up and i could sit here and talk about it all fucking day long but i'm not going to bore you i just wanted to show you guys the new space Look forward to a lot of live streaming over the next few months of us getting this place set up. Look for a lot of video updates of us getting this place set up. And uh, I hope to continue with my regular content on a regular basis and keep scoring cool shit, keep doing drum reviews, keep doing the Slipknot Mask histories, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. I really fucking appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I think that's just a good way to end the video. So thank you for watching. And until next time, this has been AJ Good at the new House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and we'll see you guys later. Mask on, 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 mask on